Lost his stick. Now coil from the point.
Face off in the zone. First power play chance of the year. Stoppage in play, 13.24 to go in the first period. Shots so far are two to two. Engineers have six attempted. They've missed the net a number of times early, especially on that power play. Adamo and Hallbauer had good looks from center right of center. Draw coming up in the Bowling Green zone. Cleared off the glass by Garrett Daly. Junior from Lakeville, Minnesota. Soccer power in my home state. It's worked back into the zone. Top pass there, both away. And got it up by Shane Seller. He'll lob it out to center. A little too far for Brackett. He'll skate after it. Jack Brackett, sophomore from Manassas, Virginia. Hands it off to Seller. Towards the half boards and moved on out. Good back check there by uh, John Beaton. Turns it right back around as Seller takes a hit. Spun up the wall. This is Colin off the skate of Adam Conquest into RPI territory. Herman lost the handle on it there. Austin Swankler can't corral it and finally moved out to center. It wasn't pretty, but the engineers do clear the same. Agnew back to get it. Agnew off the skate of Lepinen. Brackett lost it there. Brackett gets another try and he flips it in deep. Jack Brackett, as I mentioned, he's a sophomore. As it's uh, spun along and cleared to center ice. Back into the RPI zone quickly it comes. Norris tied up by Klee. Wrapped around to the near side half wall now. And right back in deep it goes. Clean a race there with Norris. And now Laka. Lepinen throws a hit. And Laka will skate it out. Lost the handle there and goes down. 11 and a half to go in the first. No score. RPI with the only power play chance of the game so far. As it's picked up here and thrown back to the point. 
Dump back in now. They dig away in the corner. And now a nice move by Doherty, but he couldn't complete it. And it's cleared out by the engineers. All the way down the ice. That was Tour Linden on the chase. Spun around and picked up again by the Falcons. It's Conquest, junior from Brighton, Michigan. Into the corner he goes. He's wrapped up there by Anthony Baxter, former UMass Lowell Riverhawk. In fact, Baxter played 116 games for the Riverhawks. There's a centering pass intercepted by Baxter and worked out to center nicely. Here's Nick Bowman now. One on one, takes a shot. The save is made by Rose. Might have been the stick that he caught. Looked like the blocker side. And Bowman does have a nice wrist shot, and he showed it off there. He just couldn't beat Rose. Back out to center ice. Here's Shelburne. Broken up at the RPI blue line. Hitters dumps it in, takes a hit. Now it's beaten ahead for Seller. They give it away. Off a glove, out to center ice. Engineers catch a break there. Off the skate of Beaton. And good reach there by Shelburne to just disrupt things at the line. Now shot back in. Bouncing puck. Marshall thought about putting it back down, but he'll hold on. Media stoppage here. 9.21 to go in the first period. No score, RPI and Bowling Green. chances on the RPI power play, but could not convert. Shot in by the Falcons. It'll wrap around. Lock of waiting for it. And now it'll be lock it again. Hit the skate. Uh, Norris. Out the center goes. Bouncing puck played by Johnson. And Jake Johnson. This will actually come in on Rose. He'll hold on there for the whistle. We're going to try to bring my color man in here. He's been, he's been sitting here patiently. That's why you know this. <laughs> We've had some audio issues to start off the season, and uh, we'll hopefully be bringing him up soon. That's just a, that's a preview. Dan Fritt is in the building. It's, I wasn't lying to you. He's actually dressed really dressed better than I am, but that's the color man's job, I guess. Uh, Justin Adano shot and blocked, and it's cleared out the other way on the carry. Daily. Now Clee. Clee lobbing out to 
center. This is going to be icing. We have a stoppage. Call right off the face off. Let's see who it's on. I didn't see it. It's on RPI, it looks like. And that is a hooking call. It's going to go on Mason Clee. So a power play coming up for Bowling Green. I am. He is. I mean, I have a shot now. Maybe it's coming. No, that was for us, Dad. Now a slap shot. That hit the face of the pit. First of all, Dan, thanks for joining us here this evening. And uh, welcome to the crew. As he's uh, moved along the near side shot. Yeah, it certainly was. Uh, Bowling Green was moving the puck around the perimeter, looking for those one-time shots. And Austin Swankler from the flank finds his teammate in the slot area with a stick on the ice and nice little redirection in front of Marshall to go up one nothing here. Yeah, so a power play goal for Bowling Green. They're one for one on the season. Interesting story with Austin Swankler. He played last year with the Erie, no, sorry. He took last year off, played the previous year with uh, Erie Otters of the OHL. Right, so his parents appealed, and apparently they made a mistake at the NCAA. They allowed him to play and gave him some eligibility and then realized later that they had made a mistake, but once they make the, the uh, decision, they can't take it back. So usually once you play major junior hockey, your eligibility for NCAA right. is finished. So that, that was my biggest question. I think you answered it there. Yeah. Bowling Green on the attack once again with a block shot by Adano. Out to Here's Walsh. Off the stick of Linden into the corner. And off the glass out to center ice. Flea, or excuse me, uh, make that uh, Surdy moving it back in. Laurie Surdy playing his first game for the Engineers from Espoo, Finland. Three finished players on this RPI club, Dan. Yes. One of them is here. Anovile Lampinen on the forecheck. Off his stick, Ben Wozny. Can't clear the zone. Dump back into the corner. Cycling there was Mashy. 
High off the glass and all the way down. Will this be icing? Chelberg taking his time as uh, they wave it off. Now Surdy scooping it ahead. Couldn't clear it out. Probably a little, a little too cute there. But RPA is able to move it out anyway. And it hits the skate of the uh, pitters, and that'll draw a whistle. 4.47 go first period. No, uh, one score is Bowling Green's. Shots are close. New home uniforms look good. I haven't seen like that those. gray in the uniform since I think uh, Coach Odessa was here. Yeah, Dave likes, Dave Smith likes to insert a little bit of gray. It was some um, a couple years ago. And, and yep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it's, an, it's an homage for sure. And back the to the white helmet. The won the national championship. Puck behind the RPI goal. Doherty's there, trying to play back to the point. Bracket, touch pass for Beaton. John Beaton pulls up in the circle, takes a shot, save. It was a juicy one, but Engineers couldn't jump on it. Good poke check, however, by Agnew. Keep alive. Center ice it goes. Jake Johnson, the lone Minnesotan on this team. I'm feeling lonely. Just one Minnesotan, Dan. Uh, Jake's from Bloomington. It's got to be a leg check. Yeah, we're going to have a, yeah, it's going to be a kneeing or a trip. A trip is the call. 4.07 to go in the first. one nothing Bowling Green. They're going back on the power play. John Beaton had a nice rush there. And just as he got inside the blue line, he's taking the defenseman wide. He quit skating, and I guess he just wanted to get the shot on goal, looking for his center iceman driving the net for the rebound. So we do have another power play for Bowling Green. As it is Agnew off for tripping. And a clearance right away by Anthony Baxter. You get some veterans. Do you ever have any veterans, uh, transfer veterans on your teams when you coached here? You know what? I, no, I never had that because uh, back then that wasn't. Right. That, that rule it wasn't, wasn't as prevalent for that's sure. That's correct, yes. Yes. No, we never. I, the only transfer I ever had was Ferguson, and he played with uh, Mike Tamburo. Okay, yeah. At Michigan Tech and transferred into the program. That's a shorthanded shot there for Tour Linden. He's a shorthanded specialist, and he's good at doing just this, just waste time in the offensive zone. Actually added to it with that shot on goal as Klee clears it out. RPI All the way back down it goes. Sorry, I was going to say, yeah, RPI go ahead. has quite a veteran team tonight. They've got four sophomores playing, six juniors, six seniors, and four graduates. No freshmen in the lineup. Well, there's only two on the, on the roster, so you got to imagine it's tough to crack a roster that's that old, uh, this, this, you know, this uh, established. Maybe not here, but elsewhere and here combined, right? Yeah, no question. You know, I was reading the season preview for the ECAC, and mm -hmm. Coach Schaefer, he's got 17 players on his team <laughs> that have not played a college hockey game yet. So <laughs> most of these teams yeah. will have two freshman classes playing. Right. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting year for sure. As RPI still in the kill for another 55 seconds. This is actually shot on goal from center ice. Rose had to deal with it. So the shots may be a little bit misleading so far. There's 6-4 RPI. As Herman tried to clear it out, he fanned on it. That allows the Falcons to try and reestablish things. Now Locka shorthanded. All by himself in the zone, he elects to just play it into the corner and ends up getting rubbed off the play there by uh, Chanon. Mr. Kwan, excuse me. That was a nice read in the zone by Jacob Lack at a intercept that pass from Austin uh, Smeichler. So one more rush here on the power play for Bowling Green. As they move it ahead, it's Fitton. Chopped into the corner for Beaton. He'll lob it out to neutral ice. RPI one for two on the kill. Here's Shane Seller into the zone. Flips one towards the net. Trying to cover it with the blocker hand was Rose. Seller, another crack at it, and it's going to be Bowman. Bowman to Seller. He's grappled. But not enough for a penalty. Backtracking now is Baxter. Throws it under the tape of Coyle. Coyle gets dumped by Baxter. Fans enjoy that, but it's Bowling Green still on the puck. Jam try, saved by Marshall. 
And now Conquest turning and shooting, and that one went wide, but not by much. Dubinsky able to clear it out and alleviate some of that pressure. Yeah, that was a nice hit by Baxter. Looks like he likes the physical play. He's not, yeah, he's not a big guy, but a lot of the smaller guys do like to hit, yeah, as I'm sure well, you're aware of. Yeah, center of gravity, so. <laughs> Good, uh, good defense there by Surdy to break up the play. As it was Conquest moving in. One minute to go in the first period. Some feeling out moments early on. RPI had probably the better play the first half of this period, but power play really helped out Bowling Green. They were able to score on their first one and kind of spun the tide, obviously, in their direction. Lloyd back behind his own goal. No real clear scoring chances for RPI, we'll say. Here's a shot on goal to save by Marshall, who's been solid so far. The goal did come on a, a kind of a rebound. They're just on side here, and that one ripples the back of the net as it was sent wide by Doherty. Now Adamo takes a shot through a screen, and the save is made. There are a lot of bodies. I'm not sure if that got through. If it did, it was a nice stop by Rose. Yeah, he had Agnew wide open uh, coming down the middle of the ice. The defenseman sneaking up on the play. Didn't see him, of course. Johnson now lobbing ahead with three seconds to go in the period. It'll be gloved down and worked out by Chino uh, Chiquan, and that'll do it for period number one. Well, we're glad we got uh, Dan here on the air. He was kind of sitting here lonely. It was just me. <laughs> I was folks studying. Did, studying. Folks get tired of listening to me at a certain amount of time. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, one nothing Bowling Green after one. Uh, we'll be back here on RPI TV and ESPN Plus for watching it in your hockey.
Sophomore from Sweden. Yeah, a little bit. Beaten didn't know where the puck was there. Now Shelberg's going to try back and pick it up. 30. Seller. Goes backwards with it. Dangerous pass at the shin pad at Shelberg. Luckily, sat for him. Can't clear it still. Malmstrom keeps it in. Shelberg again. Good sustained pressure here by Bowling Green. Seller lost the puck. And dangerously, Christopher Collin backhanded wide in the end by Conquest. Looks like a power play right now. Now I'll leave the zone. RPI is going to try and get a partial change out of this. And yeah, only changed one guy. Yeah, the only thing is that two line changes to RPI's one. Not yeah. even one yet. No. Pitter's, Pitter's going to back up and allows RPI to make just one more single change. That's not how you want to do it. Trying to get some fresh bodies out there. It's slammed in again by the Falcons. Well, based on where the bench is for Bowling Green, places their advantage in the second period. For sure. Now RPI finally getting a deep. Laka, one of the new players out there. Turned on some of that heat. And it'll be Doherty over to get it. Picked up by Mason Clee. He'll shoot it off the wall. Rose. Otto Vile Lepinen. Good assist man for this RPI club. Loose stick on the ice and a chance for Bowling Green to break. It's a three on one with Lepinen trying to come back and help, and he does. He breaks it up. This play by Lepinen. Shot eventually came by Craig's. It was blocked. And now Klee gets a high stick there. I don't think anybody saw it but me. Twilight Zone episode. Now they're penalty the other way. And Johnson can be called for hooking or tripping or holding. That was a great play by Otto to get back there yeah. on the back check and break up that three on one. Third power play coming up for Bowling Green. And it was moments after Klee got a stick up underneath his uh, chin. It, might, it was, I looked at it inadvertent, obviously, but it was still a high stick and was yeah. one unseen. And then, of course, moments later, Johnson goes off here for a very clear hold. Third power play, as I mentioned, for Bowling Green. They're one for two. We're in the middle of a media stoppage here. I think the RPI coaching staff threw a little a fake in there when they're wearing those the jackets for the for their headshots for their publicity yeah. shots, but then they're actually wearing suits in the game. Holding is the call on Johnson. Senior from Bloomington, Minnesota. Face off, cleared out. No, I lied. I lost track of it on this monitor. Now it's cleared down. That was uh, Baxter all the way up ice, the defenseman. Here they come, Schneider. Back to the point. Quan gets it back. And that one fed off the post. A set play with Nathan yeah. Burke right in the slot there where he's just tipping it towards the net. That went off the crossbar. Schwank on the flank. Now 
Shaquan. Schneider down low. Shot comes in. Saved by Marshall, and he covers up. That was a good look there for Burke again in a prime spot. He really wanted to do more with his throw it along the ice there because yeah. Marshall was kind of dead to rights. He was just waiting for something. Exactly. I, 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 Bowling Green's got a good power play. It looks like uh, it looks like the Washington Capitals out there with Oshie in the middle. They got so many options off of it. Of course, RPI is doing a good job of uh, killing. But it's always tough to get that guy in the slot. That's a weak, uh, weak forward's responsibility. Moving it around, it's going to be Lloyd at the point. Malmstrom into the middle. And the shot to flex over the top. It was blocked by Dubinsky. Trying to keep it in there was Scardina, and he does. Ethan Scardina, South Surrey, BC. And now a clearance all the way down for RPI. And first time they've been able to clear the zone like that on this power play. Right back into the zone, though. Scardina hands it off for Doherty. Back to the point is Lloyd. Malmstrom. Looking down low. Craggs takes a hit from Laka, but his backhander can't clear it out. Lloyd. Malmstrom. Penalty about to expire. Shoulder saved by Marshall. And it escapes Lloyd and down the ice. One green now one for three on the power play. So a good kill there for RPI, kind of needed it. They haven't got a lot going offensively, and it'd be tough to go down by two goals even midway through late in the second period. Baxter kicks it ahead. Laka, no room momentum going into the zone, but a hit is thrown. And the fans enjoy that here. Rory Hermit from Poe, California. Ahead for Halbauer. Good stick handle move. Herman in deep for Halbauer. Kyle Halbauer now takes a look, wrap it around. Herman over to get it. Lepinen. It's knocked down. Nice move there to get free. This is Chelberg on the stick handle, but he loses it in the end. Pitter is back for Bowling Green. Teammates changing behind him. Now Herman lobbing it in. 20 total shots in this game right now, so not a whole lot going on. <laughs> no. Now Burke. That could be the both teams playing solid defensively. Yeah, could be a little bit of that. Slot shot, good hit there by Beaton. The puck's out to center. A block shot, some, some misses. There's a puck out of play. 3.57 to go in the second. And it was a nice uh, block, block by Be uh, John Beaton there. Yeah. On the defense. But a lot of shots don't seem to be making it to the net for either team. Now Chelberg ahead for Linden. Linden centering pass. Walsh's shot. The save was made by Rose. Linden. Surdy. Tour Linden again. I give it back to Surdy. Shovels it ahead. It was chopped at there by Schneider. Now. Back from the Falcons. Johnson a touch, and now Walsh again. Hands it off for Adamo. Adamo walking his way in. Took a one-handed shot from no angle, and Rose is going to cover this one up. It's a little bit better from RPI. Adamo trying to take uh, matters into his own hands there. Yeah, RPI's got the sticks down in the neutral zone, which is preventing the, the pass. Walsh goes the other way. And Tries to take to the net. Face off coming up, offensive zone. See what the engineers can do on the draw here. Face offs were just about even in the first period. 
stayed that way. His whistle on offside. Draws are currently 15 14 RPI. It's been pretty even. The game's been pretty even. Shots yeah. are 14 to 9 engineers. It's not been a game full of chances, which leaves the door open for a comeback, of course, if you're an RPI fan. Something just has to change for them at the offensive end, though. Face off one cleanly backwards, although it didn't have a lot of juice on it. Swatted out to center ice. And this will come in towards Linden. That was uh, fighting, putting the pressure on. And now a bad pass back towards Lloyd, and an offside whistle goes against Bowman and the engineers. He's not happy about it. The guy might have been in business there, if not for that call, but it looked to be the right one. Yeah, he just a little handled the puck a little too much at the offensive blue line and put his uh, teammate offside there. Neutralized draw here. Swept into the zone. Lepin gets a touch to it, but it's going to be Swankler. Austin Swankler ahead for the goal scorer. That's Burke. Trying to drive his way in, sends it across. Barber up top, they shoot it in. That was Max Coyle. This, uh, this uh, listen is the top line, but this is the line that's caused the most damage for Bowling Green as far as offensive zone possession. Of course, they scored the goal. Part of them did, of course, on the power play. And now carried back ahead. This is Alex Barber, senior captain from Dublin, Ohio. Got all the way behind the goal, ended up losing it. It'll be tracked down by Shaquan. And Shaquan gets upended here. Craig. Chipped high off the glass, and now a race for the puck. Adamo trying to get there. He's all by himself. Adamo trying to sneak his way back into the near post, and Rose read it well. Good play by the goaltender there, just to send a little poke check out. I think it messed up Adamo before he could get a shot away. Kind of a bizarre zero mile per hour breakaway for Adamo. He found himself in a tough angle on the right side of the net. If he was closer to the middle of the ice, he might have had a little more to do. Was, there is. Larry 30 with a huge hit that gets the fans going here with a minute to go in the period. Nice solid hit by 30 there. And now a giveaway in front, and nearly disastrous for Shelberg there, but missing the net was Cole Norris. Scardina turning and firing. That was blocked by the Shelberg. Goals don't get this crowd on their feet. Free food will. Moe's been in the game. Intercepted at center, but they can't control. That was Baxter trying to jump the pass. Maybe one more rush here as Hallbauer is back to get it. Lobbing it out to center. Dubinsky can't quite get there. Lloyd will just play it again and allow RPI to reset. Picking his pocket, though, was Swankler. And a shot, a glove save made by Marshall. A big save, although maybe not entirely too difficult for Linden because he saw it all the way, but a big save with, you know, last minute of the period, you, you want to go down just the one goal uh, after two if that's the case. Yeah, I mean, going into the third period, down one goal, you're at home. No reason to panic. There's a hit. <laughs> Hello. Just leaving the, leaving the screen there <laughs> on the hit. Just leaving a calling card. Six and a half to go in the period. Herman wins the draw. Now, last second wraparound try doesn't come. And that'll do it for the second period. No goals in the frame, Dan. 
Uh, good, tight hockey. If you like that kind of thing, we had it for you. Penalty kill was big for RPI. A couple of kills. Uh, they're now one for three on the man advantage. RPI over two. That's the difference in the game right now. Of course, it's that first period power play goal. Yeah, exactly. I think. No. Going into the third period, as I mentioned, come out, try to generate more shots, get some offense going. Should be okay. At all. All right, well, that'll do it for us here in the second period. We're back with third in just a bit. You're watching RPI Hockey on ESPN.
of action set to get underway here. They dropped the puck, and here we go. 20 more minutes left. Perilous Garris, Dan Fridgen here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Finally, hockey again in Troy. And uh, Dan, uh, it's been a defensive battle so far, but it means anyone's game here in the final 20 minutes. Chopped at and now cleared out by Doherty. Craig's trying to give it back to him. Uh, extended give and go. Broken up by the engineer's defense who got back as a unit. Now puck out of play in an early stoppage. Not quite 40 seconds into the third. These two teams are back in action tomorrow evening. It's a RPI TV hockey doubleheader. We have RPI women's hockey kicking on Union in the second game of their series and then these two going at it again. Day of Virtual homecoming in reunion weekend. Reunion homecoming weekend. I don't want to say that wrong. Here is Anthony Baxter just iced the puck. And that'll bring the draw back to the engineers end. RPI women defeating Union, snapping a 31 game losing streak, getting back to 2019 20. Uh, tonight, over in Schenectady, four different goal scorers. Amanda Rapato, 30 saves for her first career win, first career shutout. She was 0 and uh, 13, or oh, excuse me, 0 and, uh, 0 and 15 coming in. Absolutely. So, big congratulations to Coach Vines, Amanda Rapato, who's obviously had a, had a tough first freshman year two years ago here in Troy. Didn't win a game in her 11 decisions and. It's a big, big win against a rival uh, tonight. We'll see that tomorrow. Here we have almost a full period left, and T.J. Walsh on the move. T.J. Walsh pulls up slot, shot wide of the target. Now Baxter's shot was blocked, trying to skate after it here in a good defensive play. That was Laurie Surti, the, the, the three Finns. Only two of them in the lineup tonight made a good defensive play. Here's Agnew, former of Boston College, will shoot it in off the blocker of Rose. RPI picks it up now. Lepinen, 10 assists in 2019-20, looking for his first of the year here, and couldn't quite find a teammate. Puck back in deep, however. Rory Herman turns and fires. It was blocked by the first man in front of him, that being Scardina. Now Johnson. Little handoff there for Laka out of Bratislava, Slovakia. Laka shot, he scores! Jacob Laka lights the lamp for the first time this season for the Engineers, his sixth career goal, and we're tied at one. So Laka scores, and just like that, we are tied a little over two minutes into the third period. So that's what these RPI fans were waiting for, the ones that are, are able and arrived here this evening. 1-1 is the score. Here's John Beaton, a little spin move, trying to get free. He was held up there. Now Chelberg pinching in. Shot by Brackett goes wide, just to really kind of a dump in there, and it's back out to center. Jane Seller ahead now for Brackett. As we work along towards Beaton, he'll fire it in. As it'll be Baxter again, threw it off a skate. in is Mashi and he fires high. Oh. 
Nearly making it a two to one lead for the home side and now Mashi again. Chips and chases has Bowman with him. Backhand shot off the back of the net. Mashi again. Behind for Bowman. And now Walsh fanned on a shot. Gets it back. Takes another one. It was blocked. As it was uh, the defenseman Eric Parker getting in the way of that one. And now Baxter again will bring it off the glass. Dubinsky lets it ride. Baxter pinching. Loose puck Dubinsky. Zach Dubinsky turning and shooting. Might hit his own man Adamo there. And Adamo trying to win it back along the wall. Finds Baxter. Baxter's shot was blocked. That looks like it hurt. Off the end wall now from Baxter. Trying to slide back to his bench as Doherty took what looks like maybe the knee. Shot again is blocked as Baxter's out there causing damage with his shot. And it's finally dumped in. And now Bowling Green a chance to, to catch a breath here as RPI's had the better of play here early on in this third period. Agnew. Spins away from a four checker. That was Barber. Out to center now. Adamo all by himself. He'll chase after it here. Swept behind the goal one handed by Garrett Daly. Former Langley Chief. The DCHL. And a poke check by Lepinen, but he couldn't get the second one to go. Johnson carries ahead. Off for Lepinen. Back to Jake Johnson. The defenseman already all the way up in an advanced position there. Now Herman. Herman. Back to Johnson, who's retreated to the point, looking for a tip in front, didn't get it. Now Surdy. Another D man joining the offensive attack. Herman had to deal with the referee's skate there and couldn't crack down the puck. Daly now. In front, Lepinen trying to throw it back in front. They score. It's Herman. Nice little play out of the corner, Dan. It was Herman and Lepinen. Lepinen handed it off to Rory. He had a wide open net. You or I could have scored that. Lepinen, it was it was really a pass off the goalie or off the defender there. He was just throwing it back into the into the middle, and it turned out to be a real nice play for Otto Vile. Uh, I hinted he might pick up an assist tonight, and he, sure enough, he does. Not too long after, I, I won't take any credit for it though. <laughs> so Herman picks up the goal, of course, from Lepinen. Assist crew there. The defend and the Slovakian picking up the helpers. RPI now leads two to one in this game. Maybe almost lulling Bowling Green to sleep in that second period, but now they have the lead. Chelberg shot was blocked by Lloyd. Now Dubinsky. <laughs> in the locker room, yeah. There's a backhand shot. Rose had to deal with that. <laughs> shot attempts are 40 to 27 RPI in this game. Despite losing the power play battle 3 to 2 as far as total opportunities. It's been a reasonably well played game, you know, as far as penalties go. Nothing too egregious as was Mashey getting knocked down over there. Everyone's easing their way back in in some way or another. Bowling Green to center, too far. Turned around by Baxter. Shot comes in and they score, we're tied. Quick transition, Adam Conquest with a shot there. A 
A quick developing play, to say the least, there for Bowling Green. And Conquest gets the goal, his first of the year, of course, fifth of his career, and this is 38th collegiate game. So we're all tied up at 2 2. After one goal total in the first two periods, we have four in the first eight minutes of the third, of course. That's kind of how hockey works. But we're even. Here's Coyle at the point. Max Coyle. The shot goes wide. Picked up there by Adamo. He'll scoop it off the glass out to center, past everybody. Wozni. This is rung into the netting. That wasn't the intent. Shots are 19 to 12 RPI. The game is tied here at two. Three goals in this uh, third period, split two to one to the host. Uh, what's going to be key down the stretch here, Dan, in this one? Draw here in the Bowling Green end, and someone can get tossed. Herman, maybe? Nope. Or Herman wins the draw, trying to center it for Laka. He already has one tonight. Couldn't find it. Pucks in the corner. Laka there. Lapinen trying to help out. This is the line that produced both RPI goals. Big hit there by Herman. That gets the crowd going, but now a chance to break for Bowling Green, and they're offside due to the good stick in the neutral zone, breaking up the play. <laughs> well, I think Klee, I'm not sure which, I think it might be Klee got his stick on it right at the line, and that forced the, the Falcons player over a little, or much too early. They're gonna send this draw all the way back down. I guess because where the pass came from. Draw here. Hit there on Hallbauer. Puck wraps around and it'll be out of play. So it's been a good Good start for RPI in this game. It's 2 2. You come back and take a lead. You give up the tying goal. And uh, what's the thought for a coach like Dave, uh, Dave Smith on the bench here? It looks like John Beaton looked like he broke a stick. And he's been given two. He can't use two. Dana McGuane. Always doing a great job with the equipment and other things, of course, as a sign. And he hands him a new stick. He's got him already there. And now a spinning shot, maybe, from Christopher Collins. Goes wide. Gathered up by Brackett. Jack Brackett on the move. Lobbing it ahead. It goes into the bench of the Falcons. And we get a stoppage. School colors for Bowling Green are orange and brown. Yeah, right. I only say that because I'm colorblind, and every time a team plays here that I don't recognize, I have to look up what the what their official school colors are. Because I couldn't quite tell you what they were if I was just looking at their uniform. Here's Bowman. It's very clear now what they are once I once I look at the what the names of the colors are. Yeah, it is brown and orange. Oh, yeah, it definitely is brown and orange. I'm just saying I. I usually have, every year, every time they play someone, RPI plays someone that they haven't played in a while, I have to go look up what the official school colors are, just in case it's not 
totally clear from their uniform. They have a cool little state of Ohio patch on the shoulder. I like that. RPI with their new threads this year. As you mentioned, a little bit of the touch of gray. In this case, is an homage to the 1985 National Championship Club that uh, used to wear similar looking uniforms. It's not, not quite the same. The shoulders, of course, are a little different, but uh, the gray was certainly a big part of that. Here is Adamo back to the point. Shelberg just threw it right back into the zone. It's picked off now. That'll leave the zone, and Adamo's back out to play. Adamo seems to have a good sense of when to help out his defenseman and in the neutral zone. And now back the other way. There he is, and he just kind of put the pressure on there and forced action. Now Linden the other direction. Halfway home here in the third, Adamo touches it to himself, off for Linden, back to Adamo. Adamo on his backhand, a shot, and with a fluttering one that was held down to by the glove of Rose. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yeah, we, usually you go underneath. Right. Yeah, it is interesting. So with that, we have our media stoppage here. 9.43 to go in this third period. And uh, engineers have four home games in a row to start the regular year. They have Panisius coming to town next weekend. Uh, and then kind of things kind of kick off from there. They also go to Alaska for four. You, did, you ever, did you ever make an Alaska trip? Yeah. yeah I, think, I seem to remember that. But, yeah, how was, how was that? How did you like that? Because the team, we're going, they're going there for four games in, 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 in over a course of a week. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah. Over some salmon. There's a quick shot off the draw from Walsh. Kept in by Johnson momentarily. Now it's out to center. Falcons on the move. Johnson breaking things up there. And now here is Jake Johnson. Hands it off to Adamo. Trying to take a shot, slid wide. And now tapped along. Here, two on one chance for the Falcons. Shot comes in, save made Marshall. Another shot that's blocked by a teammate, it looks like. And finally, RP able to clear the zone. So kind of a hairy play there. Alex Barber might have gotten away his own teammate shot in the end. He was lying on the ice. Now, Lappinen trying to dangle his way in. He was one on three and did his best. He's a pesky forward. Yeah. He's got a lot of energy. Hands and feet are always moving. That's, that's, that's good if you're a forward, I think. Nice pass. Oh, he's looking for Scardina. That was Colin with a nice move, but it almost too nice of a pass. The teammate didn't see it. Now the engineers are offside. They have to touch up. Allows fighting there to just skate it along. Back to the Bowling Green blue line. Coil across and now dumped in. Baxter will ring it for Lepinen. Lepinen stick tied up. Jacob Laka fires it all the way in. Tap to the line. It comes out of play. Went into the Bowling Green bench. 8.06 to go. The engineers have held Bowling Green to just 13 shots on goal so far. Two have gone in. Uh, but uh, you, have to, you have to like if you're RPI, the defensive effort so far. There has been a ton of great scoring chances. And Linda Marsh has made a couple of big saves, especially right there at the uh, two on one. Shellberg will ring it in. Here's Mashey. Centering pass. Oh, nifty play there. Looking for Dubinsky. And his shot was stopped by the left pad of Rose. Now, 
Zach Dubinsky all the way back in his own zone. An outlet pass here. Lining up a slap shot was Bowman, and that's turned aside. And now in front, Bowman a shot again, and a save by Rose. Good offensive opportunities here for RPI. Bowman on the dive keeps it alive, and a real good shift there for Nick Bowman. Senior out of Shelby, Michigan. Across Linden, a shot and a pad save. As that was Walsh, who's looking like he has a goal in him tonight. He's looked good. Now Adamo, centering, broken up, comes all the way out to the blue line. And 30 does his best to just break things up, but back come the Falcons. Burke, turning with it, pried off his stick. Another good defensive play there by Lowry 30. And then they give it away. Shot comes in, is blocked. 30 trying to find it. So can Marshall try to give a poke check with the stick, and now Adamo's going to pick it up. Right back in, it's dumped by Swankler. And now Surdy, who's listed as the seventh defenseman in this game, he's had some big plays, had some big shifts for RPI in this game. Johnson handed off for Beaton. Beaton trying to find it, he gets knocked down. No, Johnson was trying to go off for a line change, has to stay on because they break into the zone. That was going to be a slash or a hook. Fighting, yeah, penalty coming up here on RPI. Not a good time for it. Extra attacker is on here. Collin back to the blue line. Shot fired behind the goal. Fighting again. Coyle into the high slot. Scardina walking in. Sent across. Poke check there. Not enough for a whistle, I guess, as Shane Seller broke it up. RPI trying to get a change now. There we get a touch. Slashing is the call. Yeah. Slashing is the call. Must have got him just on the hands as he was yeah. carrying that puck. Just enough to knock it off the stick and end up behind the net. So a fourth power play opportunity coming up here for Bowling Green. Big kill for RPI. Certainly. Won't go as far as to say the game hanging in the balance here, but certainly. Could put uh, Bowling Green in the driver's seat if they're able to convert. Here's the draw. Engineers do a good job winning that face off and shooting it down. Rory Herman. Herman's out there with Lapinen and Baxter and Klee. Here's Barber firing it off the end wall. Schneider back to Barber. Back to the blue line. Shaquan and now Schneider inside, one-time shot saved there by the stick of Marshall and a diving play by Shaquan. They keep it alive with the blue line. Into the slot, now picked away by Herman. Can he clear off of Leppin and down? Does the job. Nice set play by our, uh, Bowling Green there on the power play to get that one-timer shot off. Because you've got Burke sitting right in the slot area. Tough power play to defend against. Marshall made a big stop there. He's been solid tonight. He hasn't made any you know, spectacular saves, but a lot of goaltending is positioning, and he's done a good job of that thus far. He hasn't given up any disastrous rebounds. Yeah, that's usually how you could tell the quality of a good goaltender is the fact that he makes everything look easy, and there's no real spectacular out of position where he's got to come back and make Throwing a drive around, right? and play. Yeah. You know, it's, they all look easy. 30 seconds on the power play. Puck behind the goal. Scardina, snapshot. Caroms around to the point for Lloyd. He'll go back across. Now fighting. Lloyd. Moving it down low. Fighting. Scardina. Lost an edge and went down. Three seconds on the power play. And we get a whistle here. 
I think the puck might hit the netting. Yeah, I think it did. Whistle as it comes at a good time. RPI just killed off that penalty, so three for four on the kill are the engineers tonight. And we talked about that basically you, you kind of need that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the time of the game where you, the ice is a little chewed up, end of a period. Yep. You want to keep those passes short, keep everything going forward. Let's see if RPI can build some momentum off this kill. Well, we might see our first three on three overtime here. <laughs> If we, uh, if this continues the way it is, three and a half minutes left before we go to that. RPI women, I've seen them play in two overtime games already this year. It's, it's three on three off the, off the get here if they go to an extra session. And it's, it's pretty wild to watch. It's the NHL, for all their mishaps maybe, that's one thing they did get right, I think, is the three on three OT. It's, it's, it's at least exciting and you usually get a winner. Yeah, well, it's it's usually the team that has possession that has the advantage. Right. And uh, if there's a turnover, you can transition into offense real quick. For sure. And you, know, you get to decide if you want two D-men or two forwards out there. It's kind of your, your best hockey players overall, right? That's what you want on the Yeah, ice. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you're playing three on three, you're <laughs> not really thinking about defense. <laughs> hope not. Here's Hallbauer. That's going to be up to the goaltender. <laughs> Tipped into the zone by Lepinen. Trying to decide it before we get there. Of course, these two clubs. This is going to be shot down the ice. Hallbauer has a step on his man. That was Norris on the forecheck. Baxter runs into it. A couple of... Bowling Green players now a chance to break the other way. Four on three into the zone. It was Laka cutting to the net. Lepinen tried to find him. Baxter down low for Lepinen. Behind the cage, pinching in Hallbauer. Shot from a tight angle and a save. Cer certainly not expecting that. And now Herman back to the blue line. Hallbauer down low looking for the redirect from Herman. Just didn't get it. Yeah, Herman just missed that. Nice play. Another intentional shot wide, if you will, just looking for that redirect in front of the goal and nearly paid off. Both which teams changing. Which is usually a great play because most teams are looking to block those shots, so you take them out of the shooting lane, putting it off net, and try yeah. to get a redirect. This will be dumped back in. Schneider takes a look. With some nice bit of stick work to stall behind the net for Burke. Back to the blue line. Open point here, shot coming, save, Marshall, loose puck, he covers it. That puck just sat outside the crease, and Lyndon Marshall was the first one to it, and lucky he was getting the whistle. Well, one shot will do it. Draw coming up here. Attempts are 49 to 34 RPI. Those are good, good low numbers, especially defensively for the engineers. Just 15 shots on goal for Bowling Green. Marshall trying to scoop it along for Bowman. Minute and a half to go in regulation. Mashy lost the puck at the line. And now Bowman takes a bump. Surdy across from Mashey. Try a little give and go there. Puck will leave the zone, and RPI will reset and neutralize. Lowry Surdy. Surdy spinning in the corner, waits for help. There's a couple of teammates change behind. This pass looking for Davinsky who's a little bit slow, and it's cleared out. And this could be icing here, and it is. So, could turn out to be a big call, however small it might be. An icing call sends the faceoff right back down into Bowling Green territory with 52 seconds left in the regulation. Is that a timeout? Thank you. I think Bowling get one, Green. Yeah. So Bowling Green takes its timeout here. I was just going to say this is an important shift for the second line here that was out there a little long, and that's probably why he took the timeout.
Be interesting to see who Coach Smith goes with here with this last offensive zone faceoff here. Not that it will be the last, it could be others. Just to run down the scoring quick, since we don't have time when we get out of here. 13-24, the first period of power play goal by Nathan Burke from Austin Swankler and Gabriel uh, Shaquan made it 1-0 Bowling Green. Scoreless second period, but at 2.04 the third. Jacob Laka from Jake Johnson and Jack Agnew made it 1-1. And RPI took a brief lead at 5.48 of the third. Hor uh, Rory Herman scoring from Otto Ville Lapinen and Laka. Then it was Adam Conquest and even strength tally from Adam Kitters and Gabriel Shaquan tying things up at 7.40 of the third. That's where we stand. Perilous Karras and Dan Frigid here at the Houston Fieldhouse. RPI and Bowling Green getting the 2021-22 season underway. Loose puck kind of sits in the circle after the draw. Slapped back in by Jake Johnson of RPI. In the corner now, Lepinen trying to find it. Herman digging, but it's going to be Nathan Burke to center. Barber trying to jump on this, but Klee beats him to it. Mason Klee getting shoved by Barber. And will go back behind for Johnson. Up the wall, Herman was tied up. Sent right back for Barber. Barber and Klee wrapped up there. Down the middle for Herman. Laka, 12 seconds to go. Jacob trying to make a move, but he gets dumped by Lloyd. Five seconds to go in regulation. And with one, we are headed to overtime here in game number one of the season. So we get our first look at three on three hockey. We we're talking about it, Dan, but it's going to be interesting. If nothing else. Yeah, put the seat belts on. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go for a ride. We will take a quick break and be back with that overtime. You're watching RPI Hockey on RPI TV and ESPN. All right, overtime hockey here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Three on three. We'll see if the engines throw out there. We're going with speed, Dan. Yeah. You got Baxter, you got Tour Linden, you got TJ Walsh. You got good stick, good stick handlers. Baxter's the lone D-man. For Bowling Green, it's a forward and Burke. You got one defenseman, that's Lloyd. He's more of an offensive D-man. And then the other one is the centerman, that was Schneider. So three on three hockey here, five minutes. We hope to get a winner, because why not? So basically what you got is man-on-man ma uh, -man play. Here is, uh, not Lloyd, that's Burke. He scored the first goal of this game. Down low for Snyder, and now Baxter. 
And now here's Lloyd at the blue line. Tapped out to center, brought it back into the zone. It's going to be offside. We'll see how quickly these teams line change, too, right? I mean, staying fresh is also key. You don't want to get stuck out there. Yep. So our guy changes everybody. And just one change for Bowling Green. Quick shot there goes wide. Off the stick of Barber. And now here's Johnson. Jake Johnson pulls up at the top of the circle. Slap shot coming, deflected over the top. It was blocked as it was uh, Shaquan checking his stick to see if he broke it. Quick shift there for Bowling Green. Our well, yeah. gonna stay with what they got out there. Oh, they make a line change now. <laughs> Herman, Mashi, and Holbar. Just, I'm just uh, interested to see who, who the, who the trios are. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't seen Otto yet. Otto Vila? Yeah, they're saving him for the winner, I think. Behind the net, Shaquan. Off for Craigs. A little bit of room on the far side. Scardino walking in, and a save made by Marshall. Now Hallbauer loses an edge and goes down. See if the Falcons can take advantage. They fire the puck into the zone. And okay, they're able to regain possession. Here's Rory Herman. What kind of tricks does he have up his uh, sleeve here? He's skating it all by himself. Makes a move, takes a shot, and a left pad save was made. Nice play using the defenseman as a screen. Herman gets a quick shot off. Good you get to see a little more individual play that you wouldn't normally see with the ice crowded with so many players. Good play by Herman. A little behind the back play didn't work out for Schneider. I say three on three up ice, that's everybody on the ice. And Walsh lost the handle. Now Barber. Taps it around one man, goes into the corner, watched by Shelberg, trying to slip away from him. Barber, turning, looking, fanned on the shot, and skate all the way out to center with it. We're coming up on the halfway point of this overtime period. I'm sure these teams practice this a little bit because they know it might be coming, but there's other things you work on, especially in the first couple weeks of practice, right, when you don't have, you just, you kind of start, and you got to jump right into games. Yeah, exactly. This is usually when you play three on three in, in uh, now a chance down low, saved by Marshall, point blank. And a diving poke check there by Walsh. I was going to say, this is when you, usually in practice, you play three on three in confined areas. Right. That's not, not the whole polite. sheet. Right, yeah. That was an opportunity for Swankler, point blank. Now here is another one-timer and a save by Marshall as he denies Nathan Burke from the circle. Now, if they're still tight, do they go to the shootout? In league play, they will, but not here. Okay. DCAC play, they play for an extra point. Because I see DC. Uh, yes. DC and Quinnipiac tied at two, but DC won in the shootout. Huh. But I still, I still think it counts as a tie. Okay. In the record books. Right, the NCAA considers it a tie. Yes. Here comes Dubinsky. Chips it around. I like the idea of three on three. You'll find more winners and fewer ties in general. Here's a pass back to Johnson. Gives it back into the skate of Bowman. Bowman walking in, tight angle shot. Turned away, gets it back again. Now Johnson again. Shot coming, rung it high and wide with Dubinsky providing the screen. He just missed that far side top shelf. Hook check there. It needed to happen from Shaquan. And now Bowman again. He's had a good game. Generated some chances. Shielding the puck here. Now walking all the way around. Bowman walking in. Save made on a snapshot. It turned into a 1-1 one -one with the goaltender Rose. And Rose stood him, stood him up there. Bowling Green's looking for a change. They were gassed. <laughs> well. 
before the overtime started, I thought either seven Bowman for RPI or number 12, yeah. Michler for Bowling Green would be the one scoring. And now here is Beaton behind for Surdy. And it's off of Beaton's skate. He has to go back and get it. 35 seconds to go. Here is Beaton. Back for Surdy. Mashy with a man cutting to the net. That was Lowry Surdy. Uh, they have to backtrack again. His RPI was in the middle of a. I guess a partial change there. Adamo with seven to go in OT. Adamo walking in all the way around. Two seconds to go. Wani fires. It's tip wide, and that'll do it here. This one is a 2 2 tie. And I believe that's it. <laughs> I think the players are just as confused as I am. Bowling Green thinks we're doing a shootout, I think. But I don't think that's the case. Yeah, I don't know if they're trying to figure it out or what. Yeah. But I think they're just going to go to their locker room. I think it's yeah. Yeah, it's a tie. Two okay. two. Yeah. I, but both of these leagues, I think, have shootouts in their regular season, which is why I think the confusion comes. Yeah, exactly. And C.J. Hannafin, he's a former RPI engineer, one of our referees today, says, "Get on back to the yeah. locker rooms. This one's over. So Dan, a two-two tie to start things out, but they get to go at it again tomorrow. So that's on the, yes. on the bright side. And it's always interesting when teams play each other back to back. That's when you see the creativity and the strategies of the coaching staff. They'll be watching the game film tonight, trying to pick out areas where they can, uh, you know, take advantage of offensively right. or areas that they need to trap it up defensively. All right, well, that will do it for us here. Uh, it was a fun first game, Dan. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, once again, your final score for all of us here, the uh, RPI TV staff. We're happy to have hockey back. We apologize for the...